negativity? Yeah. Like by showing the truth? No, I'm not saying How's that. It's negative. It's, it's negative because you're showing like these gory pictures. It's, it's the negative side of it. Well, like I, I explained to the other uh, student that was here before, when they liberated uh, Auschwitz, General Bradley, General Eisenhower, General uh, uh, General Bradley, General Eisenhower, General Patton, rounded up all the people in the community and walked them through. That was the first thing they did so that they would see what they were okay with. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. Um, are you guys like, are you guys trying to legalize, like, le like make it illegal to... That's what abolitionists are. Okay, so... Just like the abolitionists of slavery didn't say it was okay to own slaves as long as they were older than 20 years old. I understand that, but that by saying are there people having sex here but the thing is they they're not the ones who are going to make it people, just like you i'm not here to i'm not here making this illegal i'm here to open so eyes to stop people from killing their children no it's not shock value that picture looks a lot like shock value to me sir well i'm sorry that's what it looks like well then you would say the abolitionists of slavery i'm sorry but you're showing pictures of beaten and wounded slaves is shock value. It is the truth. It is being a voice for the voiceless. It is the truth that also what a woman decides to do with her body is not a bunch of heterosexual white men's choice. So uh, women that decide to kill people, that's not my decision, right? Yeah, none of I have nothing to do with that. I have nothing to do. So if, if I wanted to kill him, which I'm not going to but if I wanted to kill him, that would be my, and you would just stand there and say, you know, you shouldn't be so hateful to that guy. I mean, obviously, killing isn't correct, no matter what age, no matter woman, child, man, no matter what. But my thing is, you don't need, high school kids are already impressionable enough, and it is not Yeah, cool. that's right, and you know what they're learning here? Not sex learning? ed. That this is an acceptable way. That's not what we're learning. To kill children. We haven't even talked about abortion. Not even yes. Topic. Okay. One question, sir. Yeah. I'm in health science and you... What's that? I'm in health science. I'm learning about health right now. <laughs> Yesterday, I, I saw a video of you guys saying that abortion is the leading cause of death in America. It is. It is. Okay, so according to the CDC... And in Texas. According to the CDC, the leading cause of death in America is cardiovascular disease, no, it's cancer... It's in America. Same thing. All right. Well, same. The CDC doesn't consider these deaths. CDC considers all of health. I'm pretty No. Sure no. All right. The CDC does not do consider this. From? Also, where do you get your information from? And where do you get the pictures from? We get these from clinics. How do you feel knowing that that is someone else's child? I feel terrible, and I'm going to do everything I can yeah, to make sure it doesn't happen. To put someone else's lost child on a big poster board and hold it up to yeah, the your old kids. Develop. You too, ma'am. Sir, I just don't feel like this is a, the right place to be protesting. Where well, would be the right no, place? No, no, well, I mean, this like, is the right this place. Is the right place but and the first off, pictures, we're not protesting. Not, okay. The, the pictures on the board is just too graphic for people to look at, so it just draws yeah. them away to learning about what. When you studied, is. have you studied World War II? Yes, I've studied. Okay. World War. Have they shown pictures of the Nazi death camps? Yeah, like all the concentration camps that they had. So what? Is the difference? What's the difference is because they don't show gory pictures in the textbooks. All they do is show the camps, but they do show like remains of people. They don't show the goriness of the people themselves. So, would you like to reframe your question? <laughs> Got to on that. One. Okay. I feel like it's your duty to project images of dead infants. My duty? Or is it just your duty to speak out for the infants that are killed? It is my duty to be a voice for those who can't have a voice. Okay. And it is what God commands me to do. It's not like I just woke up one morning and said, hey, you know, I, it's a good, my Boy Scout honor. I'm being obedient to God. All right? The thing is, like, I don't feel like it should be illegal. It, it shouldn't be illegal because the thing is, they make a choice to kill their own babies. So if they make a choice to kill their own babies, they should have to deal with the repercussions of killing their own babies. So do you think that rape should be illegal? It already is illegal. I didn't ask you that. Yeah, it should be illegal. What's that? It should be illegal. It should be illegal. Which it already 
Why? Why? Because it's not right to violate someone. So that should be illegal, and this person having their right violated by having their skull crushed and being ripped apart, that shouldn't be illegal? You see, you, you can't be consistent and maintain that argument. And that's, that's where it comes into the fact that A, I don't know if you believe in God, but... I do. Okay, well, you're obviously not being obedient by saying that. Ma'am, don't block my sign. That is blocking my free speech. Thank you very much. No, actually, you're standing in front of my free speech. Thank you, ma'am. See, this is the way, this is the way those who like to murder people act. I don't like what you have to say, so I'm going to scream and yell and give fingers, block your free speech. I'm going to take your rights away. Like, I'm not saying that I'm against you on this. I just feel like it's not... Right, you're saying that they shouldn't make abortion illegal. Well, I'm saying I, I'm against abortion all the way because my mom, what does that look like? My mom was a teen and she had me when she was in high school, and I'm, I'm glad she wasn't part of abortion. But mm -hmm. the thing is that it's just like I, I just don't feel like it should be, you know. You can't, you can't stay consistent. You see, as Jesus said, you're either for me or you're against me. You can't like be partly for me, okay? If you're 95% for Jesus, you're 100% lost in your sin. Okay. Go, All right. Hey, it was nice talking to you. My name is Matt. God bless you. You have a good day.